today's video, you probably know what it is because you've seen the thumbnail. <laughs> We've got this. This is the Discovery Opt. Now this scope has been sent to me and we'll get to that a bit later on in the video. But this is an EDLHT 3 to 15 by 50 SFIR 30 mil tube. First focal plane. Nice box, nothing fancy, but strong. Comes in all bits and pieces like that. You do get some accessories with it, which I thought was rather magic. The first thing, which I've never seen come with a scope before, is a scope leveling kit. Um, I did a I did a big unboxing of this and fitted it on a rifle. I fitted it on the old Norinco that we used to have. Um, I'll get to that a bit later on. But if you want to see a full unboxing of me fitting it on the rifle, there's another video on my other channel, which I say we'll get to that later on. But yeah, scope leveling kit. They've thought about that. Bloody marvellous. As I say, I've not seen any scope that ever comes with They're probably not expensive, but it's nice to get it in the box. You get a chamois cloth. Um, it's probably just a, a microfiber type thing that for cleaning your lens off. Instructions. Um, it is in English. Or Chinglish, should we say. But it's it's enough to get you started. Um, and it does come with scope rings in a nice box. It comes with an Allen key and there's a couple of spare screws. I found these scope rings are awesome. Um, we'll have a closer look at them over on the bench in a minute. But for this rifle, they're just a bit too high. Uh, but the build quality of these scope rings, again, they're probably not that expensive to buy. But to get it with your scope, it's just... It's bloody marvellous. They're obviously for Picatinny rail fittings, 30mm tube. They are branded Discovery, but they're a good quality fit. There's, you know, they feel nice inside. It all goes together nice. And they're not cheap, cheap rubbish that you find on Amazon, something like that. They come with it. Now, I've got it mounted on the rifle over here. The, what, the other scope I've got <coughs> is the rapid fire from One Leaf, which is a uh, three to 12 by 56. So it's got a huge objective on the end, flip up caps, but it's got a 30 mil tube and the, the scope rings for this one was slightly lower. So the scope fits a little bit nicer. It was just too high because this Bagara has got a 30 MOA rail on it as it is. And it was just too high and I couldn't get it zeroed in. So here it is, mounted on the rifle. Now, I've got the sunshade on it. That does come off. Let's get this bit off. So that just... It's got a long old thread on it. <laughs> so it looks like that. Uh, it might still be a little bit too high. Some people might not like it that high. Um, I'm not sure what the height those scope rings are, but they're a good. These scope rings are good as well. They're from One Leaf. Uh, if you remember, we did the the One Leaf Rapid Fire NV100 Commander Plus, I think it was called, that came with the piece that goes on the back. But this is the scope. Absolutely fantastic. Now, when I got the One Leaf. This one, this was in a totally different league to all the other scopes I've got. Now, I'm not one for spending hundreds or even thousands on a scope. So when I got the One Leaf, it was like amazing. Really good clarity. Um, obviously you get a lot of light in with a 56 mm objective, but this Discovery Optics, Opt, Discovery Opt, I don't know what they're called, uh, Opt, Discovery, Anyway, <laughs> the, the clarity through this scope is better than the one leaf. It is, it is fantastic. 
the one thing I like about it as well, it's got this throw lever, so sometimes these scope magnifications can be really, not really stiff, but a little bit stiff, but this would just, it just goes around nice. I mean, this is stiff, I mean, it's brand new. Uh, a lot of people's complain about on the Discovery scopes that the eye, the, the fast eye focus on the back here was loose, but this is nice and tight. Um, so you, once you set that, it's not gonna, it's not tight that you can't move it, but it's tight enough that it's not gonna come loose on its own. This is the same. I'm assuming this will all work in as we use it. Um, so yeah, bloody marvelous. So on this side, we've got the, the side focus, which is your parallax and your illumination. This has got six brightness illumination. It's only one color, red. Um, you've got your windage and elevation. Now, the, this one on the top, elevation, it's a lockable one, so you just pull it up and click it. Now listen to this click. Fantastic. Um, now, the side one, you have to unscrew the cover. I would have liked it to be a pull-out one as well, but just unscrew the cover and you can just Nice, definite, audible clicks. Um, I'll say it's a one-piece tube, all aluminium. And it's just a thoroughly great bit of kit. We'll get over on the bench and we'll have a closer look at it. And uh, I'll say the, the, uh, the only reason I have the sunshade on is because um, if it's on here, I don't, I, I'm not gonna lose it. Here we go, can't get it back on now. There we go. When that's on, it's almost seamless. You can't really see the join. Um, the one thing I, I, I do and I don't like is this cap on the end. It just pulls off. Now, I've seen on some of them that you can pull it off and you can put it on one of the turrets. It won't fit on any of these turrets, even if you turn, there's not enough of a lip on that piece to stick it on the turret. So you don't have to stick that in your pocket. Ideally, I'd like that to be flip up like the front, but it's not a real world problem, is it? It's just one of them things. Now these retail at 359 euros, so it's not a budget budget scope, but it's not you're not spending thousands on a scope. For me, the clarity on this, being first focal plane as well, it all works as it should. It's just absolutely fantastic. So we'll get in closer and we'll have a quicker look at it over here. So we're looking at first focal plane. It's, uh, the field of view is 1.54 degrees to 7.86. Eye relief, 83 to 88 millimeters. Click value is 1 8 MOA. Maximum elevation adjustment is plus, or, is plus or minus 40 MOA and maximum windage adjustment range is plus or minus 40 MOA. It's got a 50 mil objective, basically that's the lens on the end. 30 mil tube, it is illuminated. It's 333 millimeters in length. It weighs 680 grams. It is shock proof, it says 1500G, I've no idea what that means. Uh, it is waterproof, one metre for 30 minutes, so if you drop it in a deep puddle, don't leave it there too long. Uh, it is fog proof and it is nitrogen filled. So with this scope leveling kit, you get three pieces. You get this piece here, which sits flat on your Picatinny rail underneath your scope. 
and then depending on how high your scope is you could use either the thin one or the fat one now the flat piece on the bottom of your scope you're going to have a flat bit so the flat piece is going to go sort of like that so you put that bit on your picatinny rail underneath your scope on that flat bit you push that under it and the flat piece sits on the bottom of your scope so you just wiggle your scope from side to side loosely so that sits flat and that levels your scope out so you've got a thin one and a thick one um, I've always done it by eye but this just takes the guesswork out of it I know some scopes the reticles not always level inside the scope but you know this one seems pretty good quality control on this is second to none really it's made in China but it's made to a higher level from what the dirt cheap scope so you know you see the ones on Amazon 60 70 quid um, I shouldn't say quid because that's not universal is it <laughs> you see the cheap scopes on Amazon 60 70 euros dollars pounds whatever they're not built to the same sort of quality control as this one um, it in my mind this is pucker ding I wouldn't want to spend that much more on a scope but for that price you're getting something that is good quality so hopefully I'm going to try and film some footage looking through it um, I'm not sure <laughs> if I can get the camera to line up through there obviously the cap won't be on it <laughs> um, if not I'll get some I have got some other footage that I did when I had it on the other rifle and I was shooting with it now I was going on to say about these scopes um, and I've done another video that's on our other channel I've set up another channel because we've been approached by Discovery about being um, an a, a dealer basically for selling their scopes so at the moment this is the only one we've got in the inventory uh, it's the 315 by 50 they retail at 359 euros I have got a website it's going to be called the gun accessory shop we're based here in France but these scopes will be shipped from a warehouse anywhere in Europe and the UK free shipping and duty free so it should be all taxes paid um, and free shipping unfortunately the website's not up and running yet <laughs> I'm having issues with domain names and oh it's just headaches but uh, if anyone's interested just send us a message and then I can see what I can do um, there is a lifetime warranty on these but the lifetime warranty only covers factory defects so if you crush the tube by tightening your rings too much that's down to you um, so there will be a full unboxing over on the other channel which is called the gun accessory shop also I will try and get that out at some point um, so I'll just try and keep these two channels separate but just as a heads up we will be the dealer for these and then obviously if we can shift a few of these they'll send some more that we can test um, some higher there's one that's slightly more expensive than this and there's some lower priced ones in the range which all seem pretty pretty good actually um, and they seem to be a pretty good company to sort of deal with as well and that's it I'm chuffed uh, I've still not zeroed it in on this rifle but um, when I had it on the Norinco, uh, with those high scope rings, I couldn't quite get it down. Um, I could hit the target, side to side I could get it lined up. Um, obviously if I was shooting further away I'd be alright, but uh, hopefully we can get that zeroed in. And that will be amazing. It is so clear through here, I, just, I, I can't put it across on the video how clear it is through this. And the, the illuminated reticle, it just lights up the, the crosshair in the middle, six levels of illumination, and it's fantastic. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a big thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.